YouTube. We are Lindy and Dusty coming to you from Baoji, China. In case you don't know where that is, that's totally okay. I did not know where this was until I started working here. But Baoji is a small city of about four and a half million people in the Shangxi province of China. I work here teaching English to children, and the contract says I get 7,000 kwai each month for less than 20 hours of work each week. I think that's a pretty good deal. The last time I checked the exchange rate, it was 6.5 kwai to each US dollar, and I know that leaves me with about $1,000 every month, and I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but I wanted to explain to you about the cost of living in China and how that is totally workable here. Something else I get with my work is I get to live in this lovely two-bedroom apartment for free, and they also pay 300 kwai worth for gas, for electricity, and for water each month. Anything above that, I have to pay, and for about nine months of the year, the 300 totally covers it, but the summer gets a little hot, and I like to be comfortable, so I think it's worth the 75 kwai to be able to turn on the air conditioner. But yeah, let's talk about the stuff that I use in my daily life. If I were to totally just buy local stuff and not splurge on any foreign products or go out to the movies or go out to dinner with my friends or anything like that, I could totally do it on 2,000 renminbi each month. But I like imported stuff. I like hanging out with friends. So we have to budget a little bit for that. So what I do with my 7,000 that I get each month, I divide it into and 3500 goes into my savings account in the US and the other 3500 I can do whatever I want with for the month. And so far that's been totally fine. I've not had any emergencies where I've had to run out of money or I've had to ask for somebody to loan me some or I've worried about not being able to get some. So everything is completely fine. And I don't know if that's just for Baoji since Baoji is kind of in the sticks and I don't think it's as expensive as Shanghai or Beijing. So yeah, let's talk about the food. I like to eat stuff from America that I've grown up with, that I'm used to, and I hear some of the stories about things having plastic in it, and I'm a little scared, so I could probably save more money if I ate local stuff, but call me a wuss, I'm not gonna risk my health over that. So this lovely jar of peanut butter will set you back 24 kwai, and this lovely pack of stride gum is about 9, and I think that's what they cost in the States. The last time I was back in mainland USA was in March of 2014, so I might not have like the most perfect idea of what everything costs, but I think that's pretty similar to what it was when I left. I also have this lovely pasta sauce imported from Spain, and it is kind of gross since it's just tomatoes and water, but that'll set you back about 22 kwai a jar, but I have some oregano here that I bought from the USA that I can jazz it up with, so I can make spaghetti here. It's completely edible. I like my chocolate cereal, and this was imported from Italy, and it's a little less than 40 kwai a box. And I think it's pretty good. I get about three bowls of cereal out of this. Some of the Chinese stuff that I have tried just because I didn't really have a choice in the matter since they didn't have imported stuff. I tend to go for the more expensive things. This little cup of yogurt will set you back 8.5 kwai. And I think that's good. I need my yogurt. And if I have to pay a little more for it, that's totally fine. I also drink about a bottle of this a day. This is Chinese tea. This is about a dollar a bottle, and they have two varieties of this. I like the green stuff that's not so sweet. They have some orange stuff that is hummingbird piss that ugh, I just can't drink that, but whatever. It's fine. Hedgehog here cost me 40 renminbi, and I think that is a wonderful deal for a sweet little friend. He also came with, where did it go, a cage, and no, he doesn't live in here, I just needed something to get him home in, and this set me back 10. When I got home, I had him live in the kitchen for a couple days while I made a home for him. 
out of some plastic tubs and some PVC piping, and he's happy in there. He's got tons of room to walk around. It's funny because he cost me 40 renminbi, and his food cost me 86 renminbi. I do have two other hedgehogs, so the bag of food lasts me about three weeks, and they do have cheaper stuff here, but again, I'm worried about the plastic, and if I spend money on food for me, I'll spend money on good quality food for my hedgehogs. When I do my laundry, I do use Tide. That's what I use in the States, and we have the same 360 stuff for purchase in the States, so I trust it, and I think it's okay. If you wait for it to go on sale, you can get it for like 30 quai a bottle, and this lasts me a super long time. So I think that's okay to spend a little on that since the laundry is on my skin all day. I would rather spend a little extra money and be careful. You can get some of the local stuff for maybe like 15 quai a bottle, but yeah, that kind of makes me nervous. Some of my other hobbies, aside from pet care, are crafts. And you can get this lovely cross-stitch kit that comes with a big thing of cloth and all the string you need and the directions and some needles. For 8 kwai, and I've seen something similar sell in the United States for 20 kwai, or <laughs> not 20 kwai, $20, I'm sorry. So I think that's pretty reasonable. A little notebook like this, eh, lined, will set you back 2 kwai. Uh, we have some construction paper. This is a dollar for a pack, and you get... I think it's either 8 or 10 sheets of printer size construction paper if you're into that. I had to kind of look around for these since there aren't really greeting cards available at most stores in China, but I did find some to send back to family and friends in the States. This will cost you 3 kwai for the card, and to mail just a normal sized card without anything in it, it's about 7 kwai. So, yeah, I think the international stamps back in the U.S. were like a dollar and change, so that's pretty similar. I had to buy a bucket because my apartment is not carpeted and hair goes everywhere from me and the hedgehogs and dust shows up on the floor, so mopping is kind of a thing. The bucket set me back 40 and I wanted to get a good quality one that wasn't going to crack since I've had them crack on me and it's stupid to just keep buying cheap buckets if you have to replace them. Ah, uh, what else do we have here? Oh, Dusty's Blanky. Dusty's Blanky set me back about 10 bucks, but it's really super soft and I want him to feel comfortable. And he does kind of nip that. I'm not sure if you can... Yeah, we'll go like this. Yeah, that right there is from Dusty. He does bite, so I keep him on a blanket when I hold him to protect my bare skin. So yeah, I think $10 was a good deal. Okay, if you have any other questions about China or any questions about what things cost, please let me know and I will try my best to find the information and I can make another video for you. Alright, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.